Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. And this revelation is coming from a vision that Holy Spirit gave me. And what he showed me, or who he showed me, <laughs> was Almira from the Looney Tunes. And Almira from the Looney Tunes, if y'all don't know who she was, Almira loved all the animals. And whenever she saw an animal, she would just say, she would hold it and she would squeeze it and she would hug it so tight. And she would say, oh, I just love you so much and I just want to hug you and squeeze you and mm, and I never want to let you go. And that was her thing. Okay, that, that, was, that was the vision that Holy Spirit showed me. The vision of Almira holding on to an animal and you know telling it how much she loved it and how much she um wanted to love it and never let it go and just show it so much love and meanwhile this animal it can't breathe it's suffocating because she's holding on to it so tightly and but she just wants to give it love but meanwhile the animal is suffocating it can't breathe and it's trying to get away from her okay because she is suffocating it with her love and her affection okay so the revelation the holy spirit gave me through this is some of you are holding on to your person so tight that they don't have to come back to you because you have it and you won't let them go so for some of you you're wondering why your person hasn't returned and why they haven't come back and it's because you're still holding on to them. You haven't let them go. So there's no need for them to return. There's no need for them to come back because you have not let them go. You're still holding on to them so tightly. And this is something that they feel and it's something that they know. And this is someone who wants to get away from your grip on them. Okay, you have a grip on this person. Your love, your affection, it has a grip on this person. And they want to get out of your grip. Grip is to take a firm hold or a grasp of something. To take a firm hold of or grasp tightly of something. Or it is a feeling or emotionally um, or emotion that you feel deeply for someone. And in slang, a grip means for a long time. And the example is, I haven't seen you in a grip. So you probably haven't seen this person in a while because this person is trying to escape your grip. They're trying to escape the hold that you have on them and they're trying to escape this emotion, emotional um, attachment that you have to them. They're trying to run from it. And so for that reason, you probably haven't seen this person in a long time. You probably feel like this person is a handful because you tried to hold them in your hand. You tried to hold them tightly. You tried to grasp them. You tried to show them love and affection. And you wanted them to know how much you love and um, wanted to show them love. And you just, this person was overwhelmed and they didn't, they, they, wanted to get it was too much for them okay they wanted to get out of your grip they wanted to get away from this uh feeling and this affection that you were having or that you have towards them and my and Myra's character oh and holy spirit said also that you are not giving this person space you are not giving this person any space 444 and Myra's character is you are someone oh and Myra's character you are smothering this person with your love 
She says, I just want to hold you, I kiss you, and love you all the time. Meanwhile, this animal or this person is trying to get away from you, but they can't. And the father says to let this person go. Okay, to let this person go. Amara name means aristocratic lady. So this is a aristocratic lady is a noble woman who holds rank. Okay, and it also says who is a wife. Okay, so you may you may very well be this person's wife. Okay, and you may um and you hold um some type of rank in the kingdom of heaven okay or you hold rank in this person's life like you may very well be this person's wife um Amara name also means learned nourishing and a supportive lady so you are someone who wants to nourish and support and are you are willing to learn so these are your characteristics you are someone who is very sweet supportive nourishing and you are willing to learn and you are also a wife and this person needs to know what it is like without your love because your love is so strong for this person and they know that so they think that so don't think that you have to prove to this person that you love them or that you have to show them any more love than you have already showed them because the father says trust trust him they know how much you love them they know how much you care for them okay so let's get into some fresh scripture so basically the father is saying you are a good woman you are a noble woman you are a wife um you you have held on to this person so tightly um, because you wanted to show them so much love and affection and you wanted to show them that you wanted to just take to take, take care of them and be there for them but you didn't you didn't give this person any space you didn't allow this person to have space or you you didn't give this person space um, to know what it is without your love or what it'll be like without your love. The father says, let this person go and let them find out what it is like, what is going to be like without your love, because you have a very strong love for this person. And they know this, this is something that they are very aware of. And the reason, one of the reasons why this person hasn't returned back to you is because you haven't let them go. So they don't have to return when you're still holding on to them. Okay, and they know that you're still holding on to them. Holy Spirit, please lead me to where you need me to be. For I know it's through you that all things are possible. And it's in your name that I pray. Amen. The crown has fallen from our head. Woe to us, we have sinned. For this, our heart has become sick. For these things, our eyes have grown dim. For Mount Zion, which lies desolate, jackals prowl over her. But you, O Lord, reign forever. Your throne endures to all generations. Why do you forget us forever? Why do you forsake us so many days? Restore us to yourself, O Lord, that we may be restored. Renew our old days as of old, unless you have utterly rejected us and you remain exceedingly angry with us. So... You are you probably feel like because this person hasn't returned to you and because they are um, rejecting you and because they don't want your love and they want to experience what life is without you and what life is without your love you are feeling as if your crown has been fallen it's fallen from your head like you feel like your crown has fallen like Like you're no longer this person's priority or you're no longer the queen in this person's life. Okay? You feel like this person is just like tossing you off to the side or throwing you off to the side. And this has made your heart heavy. And this has made your heart sick. That you feel this way, that this person, you feel that this person doesn't want you anymore. They don't want your love. 
and they want to experience life without you and they want to experience life without your love and you and it, it hurt it hurt you know to know that this person didn't want you to be the queen in their life to know that they want to be apart from you you feel like this person um, can't really see you for who you are and that you that you really love them you feel like you have grown dim in this person's eyes and they can't really see you they really can't see how much you love them and how much you just want to take care of them and nurture them and they left you and it's just like they left you to go out on the prowl like they feel like they single and they left you to go out on the prowl i heard that song i'm back single again back on the prowl i thought it was perfect but i don't know how i'm single again but you know <laughs> what she say you know how they do how they act see another another man and they want you back whoop 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 they still check it for me okay so don't forget who you are okay at the same time i know you may feel like you know um this person broke your heart and they hurt you and they don't want to be with you they don't want your love they want to go out in these streets and they want to be on a proud but holy spirit don't forget don't forget who you are don't forget that people still checking for you too okay don't get so down and out on yourself that you feel like that there's nobody else in the world who will ever look your way again because this person wants to go out and uh sow their royal oaks okay the father says don't 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 forget who you are remember who you are B remember who you were before you met this person don't forget who you are okay and most likely when this person sees you with somebody else after you have moved on they will want you back they will see everything that that new person sees in you they will start to see all those things over again oh now i remember oh now i remember oh now i remember just as soon as they see you with somebody else wait i remember she used to treat me like this i remember she used to do this i remember she used to do that i wonder if she doing this for him i wonder is uh he doing this for her okay all of that all of that see you with somebody The father wants you to know that he is going to, he reigns forever. Okay? He is the father of your generations. And he will never forsake you. And he is not angry with you. Thus says the Lord, he is not angry with you, and he wants to restore you. And he wants to renew you of those old day of those old things. I was about to say old trying to say old days. Those old things and days that you are coming from those things that have been you have been rejected by the father wants you to know that he's not angry with you but sometimes we try to hold on to things that the father himself is trying to tear apart and the father is not saying that you are going to have to be separated from this person forever but you do need to let this person go you do need to let this person experience <clears throat> what life would be like without your love because your love is strong so strong for this person that they know it they know it you, it's not something that you have to prove it's not something that you have to show they know how much you love them and for this reason alone okay and because and because you smothered them with your love you didn't give them space but when you love someone you want to be under them all the time you want to be in their company all the time you want to be with them you want to be up under them but this person felt smothered by your love they felt like it was too much for them it was too strong they couldn't breathe they were suffocating it felt like your love was choking them so the father says let them go let them see what else is out there let them go be out on the prowl now you're single again and that's okay that is okay you thought it was perfect but how how did you think it was perfect how
the father says he's not angry with you but you need to let this person go and experience life without you know what what life is and without your love let that person let this person experience that stop holding this person trying to hold this person back stop trying to hold on to this person let them go let them go don't hold on to anybody don't try to seize capture nobody even if it's with your love and affection and your attention don't try to hold on to anybody in any type of way if they want to leave let them go it's okay if you love them sometimes we have to leave the people we love it hurts but it happens we have to do it because you have to you have to love yourself more than you love someone who isn't definitely someone who isn't loving you back but you have to love someone you have to love yourself more than you love anyone else you have to take care of yourself first before you're able to take care of anyone else if you're not healthy if you're not happy then how can you help someone else be healthy and happy if you're not healing then how can you help someone else to heal if you're not already healed you have to be healthy you have to be healed and you have to be happy in order to be in a place to help someone else or in order to be in a place to be a blessing to someone else. And this person, with you trying to hold on to this person and smother them with all your love and attention and affection in any way that you can, trying to hold on to them, trying to show them that you have the best love, the number one love that, that, that they'll never find and you're going to prove it this way and you're going to prove it that way. They're fighting to get away from you. They're fighting to get away from you. Because love is not something that you have to prove. Love is something that's understood. It's an understanding. It's not something that you have to explain. It's... it's you shouldn't have to explain to someone how to love you. It should, it should just naturally come to someone to want to treat you nice, to want to be genuine to you, to want to do kind things for you because they love you. When I love someone, they don't have to tell me to give them a compliment. They don't have to tell me to tell them, uh, they don't have to tell me that they're hungry. They don't have to tell me um, that they're they're not having a good day i mean these i mean the and, and and they need it's hard to explain because there's a fine line between what people will try to um say within what i'm saying but what i'm trying to say is when someone loves you you will know when someone loves you you will know that they love you it's not something that should have to be constantly worked at over and over and over again it's not something that you should have to try to prove every single day i mean you want to show someone that you love them every day but you don't have to pro try to prove it to them that you love them every single day or else they're gonna leave you have to do this or they're gonna leave that's not love or or suffocating someone I really don't even know how else to explain it. <sighs> this was coming from Lamentations four, um, Lamentations five, verses sixteen and twenty-two. This person did break your heart. They made you feel like they couldn't see you when they left you like you're like you weren't worthy but the father just doesn't want you to forget who you are and he doesn't want you to forget that he is your father and that he restores all all of his children and those things of the old he is going to make new but the father needs for you to put yourself first let this person go okay let this person go experience life without you and without your love let them go
And that's all I can say. Let them go. You have a very strong love. And for someone who isn't used to being loved or does or don't know what real love is, the the love of God, it can be overpowering to them. It can be too much. Not everyone knows what the love of God is. And when people receive that love, they tend to abuse it, manipulate it, reject it, because they know it's unconditional, it's unwavering. Okay, they know that the love is not going to change. They know that it's not going to go anywhere. So this is the type of love that people try to take advantage of and they try to manipulate. And they reject it and they neglect it and they abandon it. And the father saying, stop allowing this person to do this to you. If they don't want your love, if they want to abandon it, if they want to reject it, let them go. Let them go. And let them see what else is out there. It is okay. Let them go. It is okay. If you lose them to somebody else, that was never your person. You can't worry about if someone is going to leave. Well, if I let them go, what if they meet somebody else? What if they fall in love with somebody else? What if you meet somebody else? What if you fall in love with somebody else? That's what you need to be worried about. Your focus needs to be on you and not this person. You need to let this person go and find out what love is and what life is without you. Because you are someone that is a noble woman. You are someone that the father already recognizes as a wife. And if the father sees you as a wife, then so will someone else. Period. 2222. So, don't worry about what's going to happen when you release this person. When you put your hands up and you say, okay, go do you. Do you, boo? Do you, boo? Ain't nobody going to check you. <laughs> I ain't going to check you. I ain't going to check you, boo. Do you. And this is how you should you should feel. And another thing, you know. Um, if you feel void, a void or emptiness when this person is not with you, when they're not around, you just so sad and you just so lonely and you just so empty and you just don't know what to do and you can't think and you can't concentrate and all you can think about is them, then you have put all of your trust, faith and confidence in that person and not in Jesus Christ. Because when all, when this person leaves, so does all your love. So does all your hope, so does all your dreams, so does all your aspirations. You are putting all your trust and confidence and faith in the wrong person. The wrong person. Because it doesn't matter who you, when you, when you let go of people you love in your life, of course it is going to hurt. Because you love those people. But when you are in a relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they tell you to release these people, yes, it hurts. But at the same time, the Father is going to fill you up. That relationship that you have with the Holy Spirit and the relationship that you have with the, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the relationship that you have with our Father, He will fill you up. You will... When you have this relationship with him and you pray to him and you go to him and you tell him how you're feeling and where you're coming from, okay, and you voice these things, he will fill you up with what it is that you need to be filled up with. And then people will see you or this man will see you out and about and they will wonder why are you so happy? Where you get this energy from? Why are you so vibrant? Don't they know I left them? Don't they know I'm not coming back? Don't they know I'm in a relationship? So? 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you still walking around, smiling, laughing, dancing, singing, okay, looking good, smelling good, talking good, walking good. You know what I'm saying? Doing you, being you, the best, best version of yourself. Okay? Filled up with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That type of love that can't nobody take away from you. So when you need to be in a place where you are so filled up with the word. Meaning you're staying in the word. Okay, anytime you feel a void or anytime you feel unhappy or anytime you feel sad or anytime you missing something or feel like you're missing a person. You need to go to the word and allow the father to fill you up. Say, Lord, I need you to fill me up. I need, if this is what you want me to do, I need you to take this. I need you to give me a different feeling. I need you to help me, Lord. Go to him, go to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and ask for help. Stop trying to do everything on your own because you trying to do everything is on your own is what got you here in the first place, in the beginning. Get filled up with the Father, get filled up with the Son, get filled up with the Holy Spirit. So that it doesn't matter who decides they want to take their cup of love out of your life. You still have a cup of love right there with you. Your cup of love is never empty. And you can always pour up and fill in to anybody's cup that you need to. Whether these are your children, whether this is your job, whether this is family. Okay, whatever you need to pour your love into, you still have it to pour love into. It doesn't matter if this person is gone or not. Now that this person is gone, oh, you can't concentrate at work. You can't give to your kids the way you need to. You can't attend to your home the way you need to. You can't attend to work. To no, absolutely not. No ham, no turkey, no bacon. No, Shirley, no, 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 no. You need to still be able to fully operate when you are not with this person. Your mind does not be, need to be fully consumed. If it is, the, this is something you need to fix and let this person go. You need to realize that this you are totally consumed by this person and it's something you need to fix and you need to and, and change your way of thinking when it comes to this person. And realize this is someone you have to let go, whether you love them or not. This is something that is best for you. And let them go. It is okay. Let them go. You will be okay. You may even feel better. You may even get better. You may even start to heal quicker. Your heart may heal faster. Okay, you never know what's attached to when you are told to separate from people you don't know what's going to come after that and what comes after of it for this person is no concern of yours it's none of your concern anymore what comes after of it for you is all you need to be worried about and all you need to be focused on because this person they will be they will be looking they will be watching whether you know it or not because they want they expect for you to be a certain type of kind of way and you need to show up and prove wrong. You are very strong. And you have the, the love of, of the Father. And you need to stand in your strength. And you need to stand in your love. And abide in God's word. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for the Father. And stand up for y'all's love. For y'all unconditional love. For y'all unwavering love. Okay? Don't allow anyone to... Um, walk all over your heart and you just stand stand there and stand and you wait while they do it okay allow this person to move on experience life without you let them go be on the prowl let them sow their royal oats let them have a good time don't worry about that don't worry about that that cannot be your main focus your main focus has to be you and your turn up has to be you Okay, so it's time for you to turn up. It's time for you to worry about you. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand. 
with its king and mighty men of valor. You shall march around the city, all the men of war going around the city once. Thus shall you do for six days. Seven priests shall bear trumpets of rams, horns before the ark. On the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times, <clears throat> and the priests shall blow the trumpets. And when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city sh will fall down flat, and the people will go up, everyone straight before him. So Joshua the son of Nun called the priest and said to him, Take up the ark of the covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. And he said to the people, Go forward, march around the city, and let the armed men pass on before the ark of the Lord. The father is saying, It is time for you to move forward. It is time for you to break those walls down. It's time for you to break those walls down and move forward. It's time for you to 3111. It is time for you to break through those walls. It is time for you to break through those walls. Break through those walls and move forward. Okay, that this is this is something that is standing in your way. This is something that's stopping you from moving forward. This is something that's stopping you from progressing in your life. You waiting for this person. You trying to prove your love to this person. Meanwhile, they don't want it. Meanwhile, they want to be out in the streets. Meanwhile, they want to be single. The father says, it is time for you to let it go. Break through this wall. And it is time for you to move forward. This is entitled, The Fall of Jericho. And the father is saying, he will be with you. He will be with you. He will protect you. But it is time for you to break down and through this wall. This is something, it is time for you to break through this. It is time for you to move forward past this thing. Okay? Thus says the Lord. It is time for this wall to fall. This can no longer be the thing that stops you and blocks you from moving forward in your life. You cannot sit here and wait on this person to love you in order for you to move forward. You are going to have to move forward without this person. Period. You cannot sit and wait and wait and wait and wait for this person to love you. Meanwhile, they are kicking and screaming and, can, and can't wait to get away from you. They feel like your love is too much. It's, it's too overpowering. They don't want it. They can't breathe. They want to go. Let them go. Let them go. It's time for that wall to fall down so you can keep moving. And that's the message. Peace.